chaos happened in Akoko Edo as residents rented stones at Oshiomole and other parties shifted. It wasn't a very pretty sight. People started throwing stone. The whole thing just <laughs> it, it, it deteriorated to the extent that thugs of APC had to retaliate, you know, by shooting. And then somebody was shot in the process. The person has been taken to the hospital. More and details will be available to you shortly. But before we go into all of that, if this is your first time, please subscribe to this channel, like and comment as well. A campaign rally organized by the All Progressive Congress, APC, in Ososo, Akoko Edo local government area of Edo State, descended into chaos on Thursday. The rally intended to drum up support for the APC's candidate, Senator Monday Okwabolo, in the upcoming Edo governorship election, was met with fierce resistance from residents. A viral video widely shared on social media shows footage of a large crowd of Esuso, Ososo residents oiling stones and other objects at APC leaders, including former Edo State Governor Adam Zoshio Mole, House of Representatives member Ohio Akpatasin, former Speaker of the Edo State House of Assembly, retired Honorable Kabiru Ajoto, and Honorable Aslim Agbabi. The rally meant to be a platform for political engagement quickly deteriorated into a scene of pandemonium. Eyewitnesses described how the crowd's initial chant of disapproval rapidly escalated into violence, with stones striking the APC leaders and their entourage. It was shocking to see how quickly things went from bad to worse, said one resident who witnessed the event unfold. The people of Ososu were clear in their rejection of the APC. When the stones started flying, it was clear that the rally was no longer under control, he added. Meanwhile, reports indicate that APC thugs retaliated by shooting a resident, the victim whose identity has not yet been disclosed, was reportedly rushed to a nearby hospital. The exact consequences surrounding the shooting remain unclear, but eyewitnesses confirm the incident. Osagi, another witness, said, The atmosphere was already tense, but when the shooting happened, chaos erupted. People were running, screaming, and trying to get away from the violence. It was a terrifying experience. Following the outbreak of violence, former Governor Adam Zoshio Mole and other ABC leaders were swiftly escorted away from the scene by security personnel. The APC was, has yet to issue an official statement regarding the incident, but sources suggest that the party is deeply concerned about the escalation. A close associate of Oshiomole commented, The situation was regrettable and we are currently reviewing what happened. We are committed to ensuring that the incident is thoroughly investigated and that such violence is addressed appropriately. The violent tone of a rally has sparked widespread condemnation with social media users and political commentators calling for accountability. Osagi, Osazi Samuel, coordinator of a pro-democracy group movement for democracy, criticized the APC's approach to campaign rallies. In his words, the use of violence to suppress dissent and manipulate political outcomes is unacceptable. We demand that those responsible for the violence including the shooting of an innocent resident be held accountable. Residents have also voiced their frustration, accusing the APC of attempting to force its way into communities 
despite growing opposition. We have made our stance clear. We do not want them here and we won't be intimidated by violence, said a local activist who spoke anonymously. On its part, the Edo State Police Command has confirmed that it is investigating the incident. A spokesperson for the command stated, We are taking this matter very seriously. An investigation is underway to determine the full extent of what happened and to bring those responsible to justice. As tensions remain high in Ususu and across Edo State, there are growing concerns that similar incidents could occur as the governorship election approaches. The election scheduled for September 21, 2024, features Asu Igudalo of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Okwebolo, Monday of the APC, and Barista Olumide Akpata of the Labour Party as the major candidates. In light of the recent violence, various civil society groups and political analysts are calling for peaceful campaigning and respectful engagement. Our political process must not be marred by violence, said a representative from the Edo Election Monitoring Group. It is imperative that all parties conduct their campaigns in a manner that respects the democratic rights of a people and ensure a free and fair election, she added. It's very obvious for, from what we've seen that APC are trying to force their way because they are at the federal level and that is what usually happens. You know, uh, a political party that is at the federal level, they know that they have federal power. They want to force their way into government. But they don't know that the people the people have their own will. The people have their own way. The people will vote for whoever they like. Apart from that, why would APC be going to rallies with thugs as security? Are there no longer policemen to guide them even if they need security? Why must you go to campaign rally alongside thugs? Because if they do not go there with thugs, why would thugs shoot back? At an angry resident, Abi, you mean a person we one year campaign and I go campaign for? If the person says, if the people says no, they don't want to hear your campaign. Please start going. Maybe you carry your load and go. Why must you shoot at them? These are the things that we are talking about. Come out, tell the people. You know, tell them what you are going to do for them. Campaign, but no, they think that because they are at the federal level, they can use. They are federal might. But anyway, we shall see the per, the person that the people of Edo is going to vote for. Is it Apata? Is it Monday? Is it Igodalo? Is it, 